All right. Well, we're going to get going here. Going to go through a dynamic warm up to start. A couple stretches for you. We'll quickly get into two strength series, a core series, a cardio series, and then I'll send you on your way with a cool down. Looking about 40 minutes here. So make sure you got some open space around you and then a soft surface to work on. All right. Our first part of our warm up here is going to be a shuffle, nice and easy shuffle from side to side. Take a few steps as your space allows, even if it's just a step from side to side, okay? All right, here we go. A little shuffle from side to side. Try and stay nice and low. Push off that outside foot. Be careful. Don't roll your ankle too early here. Just getting started. Side to side. Side to side. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Find a good pace here, just about five more seconds, and we'll do our first dynamic stretch. All right, our first stretch here is going to be a leg cradle. Pulling up at the knee, gently pulling across my body at the shin. Just alternate back and forth just like that. Keep going there. Back and forth, back and forth. Take a couple little steps between repetitions. Pull that foot across your midline. Last time. All right, and then we're back to the shuffle for me, please. Side to side. Side to side. Take a few steps if you can, or take one step if that's all your space allows. Shuffle side to side. Keep it going there, keep it going there. Just adding a few people as we're going. Almost there. About five more seconds here. Speed it up just a little bit. A little side to side shuffle. All right, our next dynamic stretch. Challenge your balance just a little bit. Take your leg, drape it across your other. Oop, already lose my balance. Now I want you to sit down as low as you feel comfortable and then stand back up. I get a little bit of a stretch on my hip. My legs draped across, a little stretch on my hip. Challenge my balance to sit down just a little bit. So I'll alternate from side to side too. Back and forth. Sit down a little bit, sit those hips back, bend the knee. Get a little stretch on the outside of my hip. Nice, I'll have one more time each side. All right, here we go, and back to the shuffle. Back to the shuffle for me, please. Side to side. Use the space that you got, even a quick step. Quick step from side to side is A-OK. -okay. Otherwise, use the space that you got. Get that body moving. Get the heart rate going. Now's your time to fill those muscles with blood. Keep going. Five more seconds here. And relax. Next dynamic stretch is scoops. Okay, so I'm going to put my foot out in front of me, drive my heel on the floor. Scoop as I reach down. Like I'm trying to scoop something off the ground with my hand. Keep that same leg forward. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Sit those hips back. Reach down for the floor, getting a hamstring and a high calf stretch. Try one more good one. And we're switching to the other side. Big reach, stand up. Big reach, stand up. Sit those hips back, stand all the way up. One more good one, and relax. All right, last time with the shuffle, okay? Last time, side to side. Use the space that you got. Careful pushing off that outside foot. Drive right back. Sit low a little bit. You can definitely let those arms swing if that's more comfortable for you. Otherwise, keep them up in front of you, side to side. Use the space that you got, about five more seconds. And relax. Nice job. All right, take a knee for me, please. I'm going to angle my screen down just a little bit. Taking the knee. On the downy side, we're taking that arm and bringing it across your body. As gentle as you can. I'm going to get a nice stretch on my shoulder. I can turn my thumb up. I can turn my thumb pointing forward. Kind of changing the angle on my shoulder to get a little bit of a different stretch. While you're doing this, you can... Lean forward on that hip, get a little bit of a hip flexor stretch as well. 
Nice job, switching sides. Again, down knee side, take that arm, reach across your body. Angle your hand, right? Change the angle of your hand to stretch your shoulder in different places. And again, with that down knee hip side, you push your hip forward to get a little bit of a hip stretch. All right, good stuff. All done with our uh, warm up and a couple of stretches there. We're going to go through our first strength series here. I'm going to give you the first three exercises and a couple modifications as needed. Uh, first one is a forward lunge. Stand up nice and tall. I'm going to take a big step forward. Ball the foot hits first, right? Now my heel, ball the foot more on the toes than anything else. And then I push back up, okay? Uh, we're going to go four. Yeah, we'll do the same side consecutively. So I'm reaching out with the same leg, and then I'm pushing back up. All right, so our second exercise. So that I stepped into my left side, my left leg. So we're going to do the T-spine rotations on our left side. T-spine rotations should be approachable for everybody. It's elbow to elbow, elbow up towards the sky. Elbow to elbow. Elbow up towards the sky. And our last one is going to be the hand release push-ups. I'm into the push-up position. I drop down. I pick my arms up, and then I push back up. If that's too much for you, get down to the knees and try it. And if that's still too much, just go down as low as you feel comfortable, and then push back up. And then a quick note about those lunges, too. If you want to just, instead of step forward every time, if you want to just leave that leg forward, drop as low as you feel comfortable, and come back up. That's a great modification, okay? So we're going to go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That hit uh, training tempo, short and tense intervals, 10-second uh, rest. We've got four rounds at each of the three exercises. We're going to start with the forward lunge. Uh, we're going to go on our left leg. So step forward with your left leg. So find your space. Start by stepping forward with that uh, left leg on your lunges. Ready? There you go. Big step forward with the left leg and push back up. Step forward to the left leg, push back up. Keep those hands out in front of you. Left leg only. Nice, remember, ball the foot more on my toes than anything else. Catches the floor, and then I push myself back up. Nice, down onto your knees as best you can. Sit back on your heels a little bit. We we're working on that left side, so let's keep our left hand by our ear for our T-spine stretch. Elbow to elbow. Elbow up towards the sky. Try and look up towards the ceiling as well. Get some great rotation for the upper back. Gentle stretch, even opening up the chest a little bit too. Really reach that elbow back. Three seconds. Nice job. Hand release push up is next. Again, a quick modification was down on your knees. Otherwise, try it out up on your feet. All the way down, pick up your hands, and then push back up. All the way down, pick up your hands, and push back up. Try and keep your core tight. That's the connection between your lower and upper body. Push yourself up in one piece. If you're struggling with that, drop to the knees. Nice job. We're back up on our feet. Up, down, up, down, right? Your right leg is going to step forward first for our forward lunge. Or keep the left leg forward for a split squat. Here we go. Again, if the surface you're working with is not the best for stepping or do, you don't feel comfortable with it, just keeping that right leg forward, bopping up and down, that's great too. Catch that floor and push. Get that knee to almost touch the ground, push back up. Nice job. Continue to work on the right side. The T-spine rotations, the upper back rotations, this time on the right side, right hand behind my ear. Elbow to elbow, elbow up towards the sky. Even rotate to get your eyes up towards the sky. Nice, no tension on that low back. Try and rotate from the upper back as much as it will allow you. Round two, back to the hand release push-ups. Feet supported or knees supported. Remember the details to keep that core tight. And here we go. Push down, push up. Try and get a few more than last time. I know you're starting to get tired through the arms, but keep it going. Ten seconds left. It's a quick interval. Five seconds. Pick those hands up. Push. Nice job. 
Back onto your feet. This time we're going to step forward with the left leg. Three seconds. Be ready. And here we go. Ball the foot hits, and I push. Try and keep your torso nice and upright. Lean weight onto that front leg as you drive down. Really great for strengthening up the quad muscle, the thigh muscle. Is that a good tempo? Keep it up. Nice job. Back down to the floor. T-spine rotations. My left hand is going to be behind my ear. Two, one. Elbow to elbow. Elbow up towards the sky. If it doesn't uh, feel good for you on your knees to sit back all the way, it's okay if you sit forward just a little bit. Just try and keep those hips still. Sitting back will lock my low back in place. Eyes look up towards the ceiling too. Keep going. Nice job. And our push-ups. Find your spot. Round three here. Look, it's going quick. We've got to make the most of it. Two, one. Here we go. Pick those hands up. Push it up. Pick the hands up. Push it up. Actively squeeze those abs. So you're pushing yourself up in one piece. Hands are just outside shoulder width. Elbows are shooting back behind me. Almost there. Keep going. Nice. Last round here. We got our right leg going forward for our lunges. Two, one. Here we go. Step and push. Control all the way down and push. A little bit of speed on the way up. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. A couple more. Get a couple more. Nice. We're down. These fine rotations. This time the hand, uh, the right hand is behind my ear. And here we go. Full rotation. Elbow to elbow. Elbow up towards the ceiling. Keep a good pace with it. Let your head rotate. Keep the tension off your low back. Gentle rotation. All right, those hand release push-ups. Probably the most challenging of this series. Let's make the most of it, okay? Last thing for this series. And here we go. Push-ups. And if nothing, just try and hold the plank at the top, okay? You can't squeeze out any more reps. Pick those hands up. Push. Ten seconds. A little bit faster. Go, go, go. Get some more in. Three seconds. Nice job. That brings us to the end of our first strength series here. Go ahead and grab some water. All right. While you're grabbing that water, I'm going to show you the next series. All right. All right, next is a um, couple ways to do our lateral plank, like the side plank, leg lift. I'm going to encourage everybody to be pushing off their uh, knee on the bottom instead of the foot. So bottom leg is bent to 90 degrees, and I'm pushing off that knee. As I push my hips up towards the sky, I'm going to raise my top leg and then come back down. Okay? Keep that elbow underneath you. You'll notice it starts to slide out. Push that elbow into the floor. Drive your knee into the floor. Lift that leg. Back down. Lift the leg. Back down. Okay? Set a good pace for yourself. We'll alternate sides every round. Uh, whatever side we were pushing off of on the bottom, we're going to keep that leg down for our one leg deadlift. It's a, a hip down in motion. My head and my heels stay in the same line as I bring that leg up and back. I try and get parallel to the floor with my torso, my head, and my foot, and then I stand back up. Okay? Down and up. Quick and easy way to modify this one if you don't trust your balance. Keep that foot on the floor as you reach back and stand up. Reach back and stand up. My back stays super flat as I reach back. Either foot on the floor or foot up in the sky. Our upper body exercise is going to be a bear crawl. Forward and backwards. So I'm on all fours. Two options, either knees down or knees up. Take a couple steps forward as your space allows or a couple steps backwards too. Otherwise, just try and hold that crawl position just like so. If your space doesn't allow or it's a little too much on your wrist. 
Okay, those are our three exercises and a couple modifications. We're going to do our lateral plank leg raise first. That's going to be down on our right side. I push off the ground. I'm going to try and raise my leg. Push off the ground with that down knee. Try and raise your leg. All right, 20 seconds. Starting on that right side. Ready? Set. And go. Push up off that knee and raise that leg. Other hand can be on your hip. Push. Push, really try and reach that top leg up towards the sky. Keep that elbow underneath you. Yep, hips hit the floor with every rep. Push. Push. Nice job, stand up for me, please. My right leg was down on the floor. That's the leg I'm going to keep connected to the ground for our one leg deadlift. And here we go. Keep that right leg down on the floor. Hips and shoulders are square to the ground as I reach that leg back. The motion comes from my hips. I tip forward at my head. I reach back with my leg. If that's not going well for you, keep that back leg down on the floor. Sit those hips back. Keep the back leg on the floor. All right, on all fours. Either knees down, crawling forward as your space allows, and backwards. Or here we go, knees up. Knees up, crawling forward and crawling backwards. Keep it going. Shift your weight back a little bit. And back. Small little steps. Nice job. We're down onto our left arm, left side. My left knee is down, bent to 90 degrees. Bridge up for the leg lift. And here we go. Bridge and lift. Bridge and lift. Other hand can be on your hip. Yeah, you can definitely put it down on the floor too. All great ways to modify. Just keep going. I feel a lot of push on that down knee hip. Those glute muscles are working. Great job. Stand up for me, please. Left leg stays planted this time. A slight bend to my knees for the one leg deadlift. And here we go. Set a good pace for yourself. Show me that good balance. Get that torso parallel to the floor, foot and back parallel to the floor, and stand back up. Now, a little challenge for the balance. Three seconds, couple more. Nice job, assume the bear crawl position. Remember, knees down is A-OK. -okay. Otherwise, challenge yourself by picking those knees up. And here we go. Couple small little steps going forwards, pushing with the legs, and then Couple small steps going backwards, pushing with the arms. Nice, small little steps going forwards and backwards. Nice job. We're going to go back to the right side, halfway through. Bottom knees bent, right arms down on the floor for the lateral plank leg lift. Here we go. Only 20 seconds. Let's make the most of it. Push those hips up toward the sky. Raise that top leg. 10 seconds. Adjust that elbow. If it's getting away from you, keep it underneath your shoulders. Nice job. We're going to keep that right leg planted. Yep, stand on up. Right leg planted. Kicking your left leg back. Slow and under control. Slight bend of the knee. Here we go. Hands off to the side for balance. You can also reach opposite hand to foot. Hands off to the side, like an airplane, or if you want to reach opposite hand down towards that foot. Almost there. Keep it up. Nice job. Bear crawl. Bear crawl. Small little steps. You can angle those fingers out just a little bit if it starts to bother your wrist. Otherwise, here we go. Knees up. Try it out. Crawl as far as your space allows you, and then backwards to the beginning. Five seconds. Couple more steps. Nice job. Last round. This is our last round, lateral plank leg lift. Just to keep that elbow underneath you. That's a big point. Here we go. Last round, leg lift, push that knee into the floor, raise that leg up towards the ceiling. 
I like to keep my top foot toes pointed forward, not up towards the sky, but forward. Push that arm into the floor too. We're almost there. Nice job. Stand up. Left leg is going to stay planted on the floor as we reach our right leg back. And here we go. Arms off to the side might help your balance. If balance isn't an issue, opposite hand to foot. Really focus on leading the motion by bringing that leg in back up towards the sky. Three seconds. Nice. This is the last thing here. Bear crawl, please. Bear crawl. Keep it going. Two, one. Here we go. Bear crawl. Last time. Last time on the bear crawl. Ten seconds left. Three seconds. Nice job. That brings us to the end of our second strength series. We're going to move on to a core series next, but get some water. Find that recovery. All right. I need to adjust our time intervals here. We are going to move on to 30 seconds of continuous core exercise. We're going to do six rounds. That's twice through on each of the three exercises I will show you. Oh, right. Cool. So here we go. Our first core exercise is going to be called, uh, called the body saw. So it's on the plank position on my elbows. On my elbows as best as I can. I push my feet back or I walk my feet back as far as I feel comfortable. Notice my elbows getting out in front of me and then I pull myself back. Traditionally, this one is done just by sliding my feet back and forth. In this case, if you need, especially for your space, just take a little steps to walk those feet back and walk the feet forward. That's the body sound, just forward and backward. Um, next one, we're going to do a seated hip flexion. Okay, working on our hip flexor muscles and lower core. So you sit up nice and tall. We're going to take one leg out and back, out and back, out and back. My hands by my side or even hands behind me, leaning back takes the pressure off my low back. If this does put a lot of pressure on your low back, plant your other foot on the ground, push with your hands, and try and bring that leg in and out, in and out, in and out, as your body allows, okay? Uh, the final exercise is going to be a toe touch. Laying back, legs are up straight, and I try and reach both hands to touch my toes. Notice how it's my upper abdominals picking my shoulder blades up off the floor. Touch your toes if you can. Rock up a little bit if you need. Otherwise, just bend your knees and try and reach for the sky as best you can. So remember our first exercise was the body saw. In this position, walking those feet back and walking the feet forward. Just like a saw, back and forth. All right, 30 seconds. We're going to do two rounds. So twice at each exercise. Twice at each of the three exercises. 30 seconds continuous, a 10-second transition. Ready? Find your spot. Body solids first. Okay, ready, set, and go. Back and forth. Keep those hips super low as you pull back and forth. Nice. Push back and walk it forward. My elbows are staying where they are. I'm pushing and pulling. If this doesn't work for you, just hold the plank. I think most of us should be able to hold the plank. And if you're really struggling, get down to the knees. Try walking back and forth. Keep it going now. Five seconds. Pull back, pull forward. Nice job. Sit up nice and tall. Remember, either foot up for the seated hip flexion or foot down on the floor. Support yourself. We're going to go to the right leg first. Here we go. Out and back, out and back. My torso is leaning forward just a little bit. I'm kind of lean back, lean in, lean back, lean in. Work those hip flexor muscles again. Drop that foot, support with the hand as needed. We're more than halfway there though, okay? Just like this. Really working those hip flexors and the lower core muscles. Keep the tension off your low back. It's a burner. Keep going. Three, two, one. Nice job. Legs up straight in the sky. 
let those hip flexors rest just a little bit. Remember, we're taking both hands and reach up for our toes. Here we go. Reach up as high as you can. And again, bend your knees and just reach for the sky as needed too. Just feel the contraction of those upper abdominal muscles. Still not working for you, you can drop your feet and reach towards the sky. So let's try and cut those toes. 10 seconds. Working those hip flexors, working those upper core too. Keep it going. Nice job. Quick transition back to the body saw. One more time through each exercise. Three seconds, be ready. Two, one, and go. Hey, great job if you're just holding that plank, that's awesome. Otherwise, try and get a little motion to it. A pull forward and a push back. Great for those lat muscles, muscles on your side, then obviously challenging your core muscles as well. Halfway there. Yep, go knee supported if you need. You guys are doing a great job, just keep it up. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, nice job sitting down on the floor. I'll turn around this answer. We're gonna work the other leg. In this case, my left leg. Last time I did my right, this time I'm gonna do my left. Good, sit up nice and tall, support with those hands. Either foot planted on the floor or foot up and I'm balancing. Leaning back just a little bit. Work those hip flexors. A lot of time sitting. This is a great chance to build some strength through those hip flexor muscles. 10 seconds. Lean back, support yourself with your hands. Keep going, five, four, three seconds. Nice job, lay on your back for me, please. And the toe touches up next. Lots of the core exercises for today. And go, reach, reach. Try and reach, use those upper abdominals to get your hands up towards your feet. Or just reach those hands up towards the ceiling. Modify as needed. Bent knees or feet down. Almost there. Three seconds left. Nice job, all right. That's the end of our core series. Great burn through the abdominals there. We're gonna work on cardio next, cardio next. So, but grab some water, I need to adjust our time intervals. We are gonna do 45 seconds. Forty-five seconds of continuous cardiovascular exercise, and it's going to be broken up into fifteen-second segments. So I'll show you uh, the three exercises that it's going to be broken up into. It's kind of like uh, from the floor up to standing, and then all the way up in the sky if you can. All right. So our first uh, cardio exercise is called plank jacks. Okay, um, it's here. I wind my feet up. I bring them back in. Line the feet out, bring them back in, okay? Very approachable for most people. If you can't do anything, just try and step, 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 step. Next one is gonna be standing up. We're gonna do jumping jacks. I'll angle my screen just a little bit so you can see. Nice and easy. For the next 15 seconds of the 45 second interval, we're gonna do jumping jacks for 15 seconds. Our final 15 second interval, uh, I like to call star jumps. So it's here. It's like a jumping, jumping jack, right? And if that's not good for you, a little squat and an arm reach, a little squat and an arm reach, that's great too. So again, we start down for the plank jacks. It's feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in. 15 seconds. Then I'll tell you, get up right away, right away. 15 second jumping jack. And then finally, right away, last 15 seconds. Star jumps or a little star squat. All are great. The idea is we're getting that body moving, getting that heart pumping, working on our lungs. Cardio, so find a spot for me, please. On your hands, we're gonna do the plank jacks first, okay? 15 seconds at each, so listen carefully. I'll cue you through and tell you when to switch. You gotta switch right away, okay? Plank jacks are first, all right? On your hands, ready, set, 
and go out and back out and back out and back nice job set a good tempo for yourself we're standing up in three two one and we're up jumping jacks for me please jumping jacks for me please reach those arms up overhead keep it going and star jumps best you can for the star jumps star jumps as best you can or squat to reach squat to reach all are great do your best do what you can do almost there nice job it's a 15 second rest okay back down on the floor go at your pace you guys are all doing a great job just keep moving that body Plank jacks are up first. Here we go. Feet out, feet in. Feet out, feet in. Let's go. Yeah, on the hands or on the elbows. Either one's fine. Five seconds and we're standing up. Three seconds. And we're up. Jumping jacks for me, please. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Set a great pace for yourself. Keep it up. Star jumps in three, two, one, and star jump, go. Spread those feet out, reach those arms, or a squat to reach is great. Keep it going, challenge yourself, let's go. Last bit for the cardio, keep going. Nice job, that was two rounds. We got three to go, you're doing a great job though, 10 seconds. I gotta clear my screen real quick. Let's make the most of our time, do what you can. Three seconds. Man, plank jacks, plank jacks. Turn those fingers off to the side a little bit to take some of the flexion out of your wrist. Five seconds. Little jacks, that's fine. Two, one, and we're up. Jumping jacks. Great job. Love what I see. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Five seconds. Two, one, and the star jumps. Star jumps as best that you can. Reach those hands, reach those feet. Keep that breathing under control. Three seconds. Good job. Two more, seriously, two more. Minute and a half. It's a, you can do this. You can do this. Great push today, guys. Great push. Three seconds. Plank jacks, ready, and go. Make the most of your time, let's go. Great job, everybody, keep it up. Find your pace. If you're just holding the plank, that's A-OK. -okay. Up on our feet, two, one, and stand up. Jumping jacks. Do what you can, jumping jacks. Five seconds. Two. One, and star jumps. Or a squat to reach, squat to reach. Do your best, keep it up, 10 seconds. Three seconds. Nice, this is our last round. Last round, seriously, last round. 10 seconds. Keep that breathing under control. Just know, last round. Three seconds, two. One, plank jacks, plank jacks, out and back, out and back. Five seconds, three seconds, two, one, and we're up on our feet. Jumping jack, last time. Seriously, last time on the jumping jacks. Five seconds, set of pace you can be proud of. Star jumps in two, one, and go. Star jumps. Do what you can. Squat to reach is A-OK. -okay. Get those arms, get the body moving. Let's go. Three seconds. Nice job. All right, our cool down is coming up next, OK? We're going to do a quick cool down. Grab some water, though. Try and recover that breathing. That was a good push there.
All right. Spread out as you can. Calm that breathing down. We're going to do some head circles to start, okay? Head circles. Yeah, drop those arms. Take the tension out of your shoulders. Big circle. All right, try the other direction for your head circles. Nice job. Upper back rotation, a little gentle side to side. Soft bend to the knee. Gentle rotation side to side. Hips stay forward. Soft bend to the knee. Nice job. Good rotation. Both arms going forward. And both arms going backwards. Again, I just don't want any of that blood to pool up in your muscles. Get stuck there and end up getting real sore. Hands on your hips. Gentle hip rotations for me, please. Calm your body back down. You guys did a great job today. All right, try the other direction on the hip circles. Working our way down, we're going to do the knee circles. Holding on to your thighs. Gentle rotation at the knees. Keep it going. Try the other direction on the knee circles for me, please. All right, a couple ankle circles here. Climb that balance as best that you can. If you need to plant that foot, roll it around, that's fine too. Ankle rotations. How about the other direction? Almost there, team, almost there. Try the other side. Ankle circle, test that balance, Woo. and try out the other direction. All right. Well, hey, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to join me today. Remember all uh, doing all this for the COVID-19 relief, uh, but first and foremost, I really appreciate you guys joining. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Got a couple more sessions later this week. Um, again, thank you.